Welcome to Electronics on the Floor, where I'll talk about the wonder that is core flute material. Core flute material has many applications in hobby, electronics and radio projects. It's light, it's easy to work with, and if you're lucky, you should be able to obtain it quite cheaply, if not for free. Core flute material is a sandwich construction. Two sheets separated by about four or five millimetres. The arrangement gives both lightness and extreme strength. Core flute signs are often listed on eBay, but prices seem to be quite high. You might have better luck in your local light industrial area. Alternatively, real estate agents often leave them behind and you may be able to scavenge one. One core flute can be useful in a surprisingly large number of projects. The microwave oven test and the core flute did not heat, unlike the plate below it, which is slightly warm. This means that core flute material can be used around sensitive radio frequency circuits and not affect performance. You only need basic tools to work with core flute material. Most important is a hobby knife like this to cut it and a metal ruler to measure and act as a guide. If you want to make holes in the material then a needle like this can easily make them. Or you might want to use a small hand drill, preferably in conjunction with a mitre box to stop the material from turning around. I've made a very simple antenna insulator, which could be useful for some portable applications. Having sharp corners on things isn't ideal, so you can just use some scissors to very easily cut across them. You might think this core flute material is pretty flimsy. We'll go outside and give it a test. It only needs to be stronger than the wire that it supports. Now we'll see what's the weakest link. Is it the core flute or is it the wire? In fact, the wire broke before the core flute. You can't even see any impression in the core flute where the wire might have pulled on it. Now I'll try something a bit stronger, like this luggage elastic. You can see there's some distortion in the core flute hole, but it was still stronger than the wire hook, which bent around. Therefore, a core flute could not only be good for end insulators on a dipole, but also potentially its centre as well. I haven't tried it with RG58 coax, but in a lightweight, portable operation with low winds, it may well be suitable for that as well. Another application for core flute material is to cut it into thin strips. This could be used to support otherwise flexible wire. If you had several of them in a star configuration, that could be set up to provide a capacitance hat. A capacitance hat is useful on lower HF and medium frequency antennas and allows short verticals to perform very well. The lightness of the thin wire and the core flute material could be a good combination if you're building a portable antenna that has to be dismantled and set up. Here's another application. What possible use could something like this have? We have our own homemade open wire feed line. You'd need to apply glue at these points, but you get the idea. This would be quite a lightweight feed line, useful for portable operating. And I've, in previous videos, described and used open wire antenna couplers that would be suitable for this sort of project. 
or if you've got something a bit more rigid like this, which is actually from an old TV antenna, then you could use it as a spacer for something like a J-pole antenna on 70 centimeters, or a gamma match on, say, a Yagi for two meters. As we demonstrated with the microwave oven test, this core flute material has good RF properties. Last Sunday, I went to a historical radio exhibition organized by the Historical Radio Society. Not far from here, it was a huge exhibition with many vintage radios, homebrew equipment, crystal sets, military gear, and much more. Of particular interest was a crystal set made from core flute material. Designed by Tony Mayer, it did not require an external antenna, yet, even when it was used indoors, brought in all the local Melbourne stations at good strength on headphones. For this video, I made up a core flute coil. It's not a crystal set. All it is, is a coil in parallel with a tuning capacitor. I'll test this to see what effect it has on the reception of weak signals, as heard on this portable receiver. Here's a signal we can hardly hear. This is the loop in a bit more detail. The core flute material was cut into four strips. They were then arranged to form a square. The direction of the cut is important. It needs to be along the ribs of the strip. That way, when you've got the two meeting at a corner, you're able to thread wire from one side to the other. The wire is round in a spiral. I used a single piece of wire, which took a long time to wind. Or you could do what Tony did, no doubt with better results, where you had enameled copper wire, which was stripped, twisted, then soldered at all the parts where the two wires meet at each corner. It's a bit rough and ready, but you get the idea. Let's see if core flute material can be used as a circuit board. This is about the simplest possible electronic project you can build. It's a one transistor audio amplifier. You might use it to amplify the output of a crystal set. It's not very clear, but this is an NPN transistor, emitter, base and collector. The audio coupling capacitor here would be about 10 microfarad. The resistor from the base to the collector would be anywhere from about 100k ohm to about 1 meg ohm. And the resistor in the collector circuit would be about 4.7k. There'd also be a coupling capacitor from the collector of the transistor to your headphones. Just drilling holes at where each of the leads would go in for your components. All I have to do is to solder the connections under the board. This is the big test. Will the core flute melt when I apply heat? or will I be able to get away with it? The answer is yes, you can use core flute as a circuit board. It wouldn't be any good for ICs or other components with very fine lead spacing. But provided you don't apply too much heat and make your connections quick, then it would be fine for simple projects. As a further idea, core flute could potentially be useful for equipment enclosures. It's light and strong, so would be particularly desirable for portable QRP gear. In this case, you might wish to build your item on a U-shaped chassis comprising either aluminium or printed circuit board material. That could then slide in to your box made of core flute. Mounting could be done just by soldering a couple of nuts to the bottom of the circuit board chassis and then inserting screws through the bottom of the core flute base. I've described a few of the many hundreds of uses that core flute material could have in electronics, radio and other homemade projects. If you've got any more, please add them in the comment section below.